Hey guys, it's Eric here at Retronyms with another How Do It. And today I'm going to show you how to audio paste into IMPC and IMPC Pro. So we got IMPC here. And once you're inside, you want to select the program. Whatever program you're going to paste into, edit. And then you have your pad set up here. You can uh, select the pad that you want to replace the sound with and then go to sample new sound. And notice you'll have this uh, lovely audio paste button here and a very convenient screen pops up and then you select your loop and we're going to go ahead and select dream bells. Okay, go ahead and paste that and you can resample it, listen to it on the test pad and before you can save it, you got to select a category. So since this was a pre-made loop, I'm going to go ahead and select the loops um, save area. And now it's saved to my sound library and it also pasted it directly to the pad. So I can uh, go into my sounds in our sound library loops and then go ahead and find the ones that I have already pasted in there. And if I want it on a different pad, I can always tap and drag it to a different pad. Um, or I can delete it off the pad and then you know put a different sound on there. And then save it. And now you have it, that sound saved directly to your pad. And that's IMPC. We're going to go ahead and go over to IMPC Pro. And in IMPC Pro, it's a little bit different. Go to the Program tab at the bottom, then select the Sounds on the bottom right hand corner. And then notice on the left here you have Audio Paste. Again, it brings up a very convenient menu. and select the loop that you want. We're going to go ahead and do the same loop as last time. Some dream bells. And notice how that pasted directly to the pad that I had selected just like an IMPC. And this time you don't have to save. It just automatically puts it into the program that you have in the sequence. And now that's on my pad. So now I'm going to show you guys how to audio paste into IMPC for iPhone. And you'll notice that IMPC on iPhone has three little tabs on the left, bottom, and right side of the screen. I'm going to go ahead and drag the left side over. Go down to the bottom and select the sampler. Here you have the lovely audio paste button. Select that and it will bring up all of your samples that you have in audio copy. Go ahead and select the loop. I'm going to, let's see, select spooky lead. Sample the pad, here where the sound is, and before you can do anything else, you gotta save it. So select the category and then do save to loops. Now to find the sample, we gotta go back. So go to Q sequencer and then we're gonna drag this right side over. Go ahead and tap edit, and it'll bring up all your pads. So now we can go ahead to sounds, my sounds, loops. And here we have what I just saved and tap and drag that to whatever pad you want to put it on. Then go back to edit and tap the save button. And now you have put it onto your pad. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can email us at support at retronyms.com or you can tweet us at retronyms. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that uh, you can keep up to date when we post more of these how do it videos. It's what I do.